Oh no. Agent Brightly, did you do that on purpose? Someone needs to send Agent Brightly to slime school because she doesn't know how to make slime. Oh no! She needs some training. Right play pals thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're new to our channel go ahead and click that red subscribe button ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime we upload new videos today we're doing something new it's a diy slime project that we're going to do it is going to be lol surprise inspired i'm really excited to do that and i also wanted to just point out guys as you can tell from my outfit i'm channeling my inner fortnite okay i've been playing fortnite for consistently for a couple of weeks and when I say consistently I mean like once or twice a week so I'm not really great at it I'm still learning how to build I unfortunately you know don't play very long but I love the game I think it's super exciting and fun I love it love it love it and I'm channeling my inner Fortnite today because I feel like a boss okay I feel like a boss so anyway we're gonna make some slime today I hope it, it will be super fun you guys come along for the ride I've actually watched several videos I've watched several slime videos. Technically, I guess I've been to slime school. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm probably, probably in, in the first grade, grade of slime school. So I'm still learning how to make slime and I hope I can make something that's super cool that you guys will enjoy. I hope I'll enjoy playing with it as well. And I hope it's beautiful slime because I love glittery slime. So that's what I am trying to make some glittery, glitter, 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 glam slime. Yes, glitter, glam slime. That's what we're gonna do today. So guys, don't go anywhere, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and make some slime. Okay guys, we're going to get started in a second to do our DIY slime. And I wanted to let you guys know that the first slime that I'm going to do is going to be um, inspired by Spice, our wonderful Mwah. little LOL doll there. Um, she is all kinds of fuchsia and black glittery goodness. And so I have those kinds of colors for the slime. This this particular glitter, it was almost $4. It's sparkling glitter. I got it at Target. And then also I got these at Target as well. This is chunky glitter. So we're gonna take a look to see if we can include that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna include all, all of these, but I'm gonna see what happens and play it by ear. This is fine glitter so that's pretty cool nice little um, fuchsia like color for that and this is confetti and it has like X's and O's I'm not sure if you can see it but if I use it you will definitely hopefully see those in the slime not sure if I'm going to include this or not to get the touch of black but guys that's what we're going to include today so I'm going to go ahead and move this stuff to the side and go ahead and start mixing our slime Okay guys, so to make your own slime, there's different ways that you can make it, but from the research that I've done, uh, one of the easy ways to make it is to use um, some Elmer's glue. We're gonna use some clear glue to make our slime, and then also um, some detergent. So we're gonna use the Thai uh, Free and General um, because I didn't want a lot of color in this particular slime to start with. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But those are the key ingredients. There's other things that you can put in your slime if you like. Uh, but the key things, it's this is just mainly a, a two um, ingredient thing. I may actually add some baby oil because it's my understanding that baby oil can make it kind of shiny and slick if you want like shiny slime. So I'm going to consider... Let me just see, I'm gonna play it by ear uh, once I start actually making it. So got my bowl all ready and my little mixing spatula. And so we're going to just pour some glue in here. I'm not gonna make a really, really big batch. I don't think I am. So uh, let's see, I, I think I'm gonna use half of this one quart uh, thing of glue and that should be enough. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to pour some of our detergent. So I'm just gonna pour some in this cap right here. I'm not sure, I'm gonna wing it. I'm not measuring or anything. And I'm just gonna see what I can do. And from what I've been told, this actually activates the, the glue so it turns into slime. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit and then just start mixing and see how it does. And then if it starts to kind of clump together, uh, ooh, it actually is. I see it already starting to kind of clump up a little bit and it's getting thicker. So I'm gonna put a little more in it. So apparently you don't need that much detergent. Um, 
I'm sure there's different schools of thought depending on the consistency that you want, but I'm very impressed at how quickly this already started to form, guys. This is really cool. It's starting to turn a white-like color, so I'm just gonna keep mixing. Let's go ahead and take it out of the bowl. Okay, guys, I am so excited. Our first slime is very good. The only thing I'll say is I thought I was going to make clear slime, but it's not clear at all. It's not clear. And um, that was a little disappointing, but we're gonna work with it. I think I like the consistency. I think we did a good job not bad for our first time now what I did was I actually took the lids the caps actually they're little corks off of these um, different uh, glitter that we're gonna include uh, this big one right here I don't think I'm gonna include it just yet I'm gonna see what I get when I put the other different types of glitter on it so so I think I'm gonna start first with this clunk, chunky like glitter because I love the color of it I play did you mean to make that oh no oh my goodness someone please send instant where I play slime school she needs some training <laughs> Okay guys, so we allowed our slime to sit actually overnight. I'm pleased to show you guys how it turned out. I think it is fabulous. So what I did learn from this process is that initially your slime will look kind of foamy and white and it will change later. So I think that is so cool that our slime did come out looking really, really, really super glittery like we had hoped. It doesn't look like polka dot slime anymore. It is fabulous and is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, I am very, very happy with my slime. So I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what you would like me to do next in terms of this super cool slime. And another thing that I noticed guys, even though Spice was my inspiration for this slime, um, it kind of reminds me of Kitty Queen a little bit too. So I think this is so super duper fabulous, super fabulous. I love it. And it is still super duper stretchy, guys. It is so stretchy. And that is cool. So, it was not a fail. So, I am very impressed and happy with my final product. <laughs> so this is definitely cool. I love slime, guys. I love it. It's so relaxing. And look at all the little shimmery different colors. And you can see the confetti that I put in there too, the little X's and O's. I didn't use a lot of them though, but they're in there. They're in there. Love it. Love this slime. <laughs> so I'm just having fun with slime today. Fun with slime today.
So that's all we had today on Instant Ride Play. But before we go, I just wanted to say, even if you have a hard day, we hope you find some time to play. And we will see you next time on Instant Ride Play. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rockin' if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead.